hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel with another brand new premiere pro tutorial so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make this really awesome typewriter effect in adobe premiere pro guys this is a very simple and easy effect that you can use for your videos so guys before starting this video please subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and of course please give this video a like so after that has been said let's get on with the video so guys once you're inside of adobe premiere pro you need to start by creating a background so you can use a video as your background or you can create a colored background so for this tutorial i'm gonna use a black video so you can click this new white um, button and then you can click on black video and also you can click on file at top left corner then new and then you can click on black video once you click that it will open this little window if you are using a hd sequence you can change it to 1920 by 1080 so once you change your resolution you can hit on ok and as you can see now in your project panel you will see that black video then you can drag and drop the black video to your timeline and then i'm gonna extend the duration to like 10 seconds so once you do that go to effects panel and guys if you did not see your effects panel click on window and enable effects once you do that you will see the effects panel at effect you need to search for tint so drag and drop the tint effect to the black video and guys once you drag and drop that tint effect to your black video you need to go to effects control panel and also if you did not see the effect control panel go to window and enable effect control once you do that it will pop up on your screen so yeah go to effect control panel make sure you are selecting the black video at effect control panel you will see the tint effect you can click this little arrow to see the settings to the tint effect so now you can click this button once you click that you can change it to any color you like so for this i'm going to change it to white color and then hit on ok and as you can see now we get a white background so then you can you need to create a legacy title so you can click on file new then you can click on legacy title and then you can give a name so i'm gonna name it as type you can name it whatever you like and then you can hit on ok and then it will open this window now you can type the text you need to put to your video before that i'm gonna change the font to impact if you like to download this font you can click the link in the description box of this video so you can download this font now we can type the text you need to put to the video so i'm gonna type as typewriter and then effect so once you type your text you can resize it and then you can change the color to black and then i'm gonna center this up so once you're happy with the way it looks you can close this window and now you can drag and drop that legacy title to the video layer too okay guys again go to your effects panel and search for linear wipe effect so drag and drop that effect to the legacy title so once you drag and drop the linear wipe effect to your text layer or to your legacy title and then go to effects control panel at effect control panel you will see the linear wipe effect so guys as you can see once we change this value to 100 percent it wipe from the opposite direction we did actually we need to wipe this text from right side to our left side so to fix that issue you need to change the wipe angle to 270 and now once you change this value to 100% if wipe from our right side to left side actually that's what we need so now you need to go to the beginning of your text layer and change this value to 100% and create a keyframe on that by clicking this stopwatch icon and as you can see now it create a keyframe now go to the end of your text layer and create another keyframe to 0% and now once you play this back you have this um, wiping effect but we are making the typewriter effect so we need to make this effect 
more believable and also more realistic and we need to make this effect look like the typewriter effect so to change this wipe effect to look like the typewriter effect you can change the speed of that by dragging your last keyframe near to the first keyframe actually guys this may take a while so take your time and make best as you can so once you're happy with the way it look we can play it again okay guys now i think it's pretty good now we need to create a cursor so you can again go to your project panel and then you need to drag and drop the black video to video layer 3 and select that black video and go to effect control panel and then you need to uncheck this uninform scale and then you need to change the scale width to 0 0.3 and then you can change the height of this line to match your um, text layer guys don't make this line way bigger than your text and also don't make this line very small just make this line little bit larger than your text so once you're happy with the line it means your cursor you can position this cursor like that and then go to the beginning of your text layer not your text layer go to the beginning of that wipe effect start so mine it starts somewhere like here and then i'm going to create a keyframe in position and go to the end of that wipe effect somewhere like that and then position that cursor to right side and now once you play this back you have this really awesome typewriter effect but sometimes this cursor will go a little bit slower than your text so to fix that you can change the speed of your cursor by dragging this last keyframe near to the first keyframe so you can get a little preview of it so now let's play this okay i think now it's pretty good we need to make this cursor blinking so to do that you need to go to opacity make sure you are selecting the that layer to this cursor and create a keyframe and go like um eight frames forward and create another keyframe to zero and again go eight frames forward and make it hundred percent and now we can copy these keyframes and paste it at the end of that keyframes and we can repeat the same process Okay guys, now we can play this back. As you can see guys, that is the type right effect that you can make inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And yeah guys, that's it the video. Please subscribe my channel with the post notification so you don't miss any videos like this. And yeah guys, thanks for watching this video until the end. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.